Have you ever MIG welded and wondered why your welds don't look like this? Why it's all sputtery and stuttery and looks like boogers like that or like this? That's probably because either your tip is bad or if you already went through 20 tips and you can't figure out what the problem is, it's probably your liner. Your liner just makes the wire not feed smooth and if your gun is straight like here perfectly straight all the way up to where you weld only one little not that sharp bend in it then for sure it's time to switch your liner to give you a quick demonstration what it looks like I'm gonna weld the material is like fresh not really ground super clean it doesn't really have to be that for MIG there's no rust on it, there's no heavy oil coating on it. It should just be smooth. But every time you hear the arc like sputtering and stuttering, and the tip on there is brand new, the correct size, I'm running 030 wire, 030 tip, you'll see every time it sputters and stutters, it's because of the liner. You switch the liner and it will go away. So you heard it and you saw it a little bit on the weld for no apparent reason in the middle of the weld same material same cleanliness level of the material it all, all of a sudden started to sputter that's because the liner is bad all right how does your liner go bad it goes bad if somebody drives a forklift over it it goes bad over time when the spiral liner on the inside rusts it gets bad when you have a lot of dirt on your wire, you don't use your machine that often, or the outer layer of your wire spool has like rust on it, like right here, and then the rust gets crushed through the feed wheel and then deposits all in your liner, and next thing you know is the wire doesn't feed right anymore. Or just wear and tear over months or years of use, depending on how much you're welding. Now, first things first, get yourself a new liner. If you get a liner for a gun like this style here, this connection style, it's called a Euro connector. It's coming from Europe, so most likely everything on your liner will show metric. Like this guy here shows 5.4 meters long. That's a little bit over 15, almost 16 feet. This is for a 15 foot gun, so you need to trim. The liner, you always have to trim it to size and then it shows 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 this means it feeds wire from 023 030 to 035 this is not a liner for 045 wire you can buy liners from these guys right here or tips or anything you need all right let me show you how it's done how to switch the liner and how to make it fit so i'm gonna show you how to take the old liner out install the new liner, cut it to length, and then um, button everything back up and get welding again. First of all, turn the power off on the machine. Second of all, clip the ball off the end of the wire. Always make sure you straighten the gun out as much as possible. Pull the wire out of the liner. Then loosen the liner retainer nut on the end and the old liner pulls right out. You see the last 18 to 24 inches, the plastic coating is removed. Take your new liner, open it up. Don't take it out of the package yet. You don't want any dirt to stick to the outside of the liner before you insert it. Take your tip and tip holder off the front end of the gun. Straighten 
straighten the gun out the best possible. Feed the new liner back in. You feel some resistance at some point. That's usually when the liner comes out the front end of the gun. Insert the liner all the way and hand tighten the liner retaining nut. While everything is still as straight as possible, take a wire clipper and clip the front of the liner about, leave about two coils more than flush, clip the end of the liner off. Now remove the liner again to see if you have about at least 12, better 18 inches of exposed spiral. We do. Otherwise you have to take a razor blade and cut it down further. If you would install this liner in like a 12 or 10 foot gun, you would have to do that. Then go ahead and install your diffuser and your tip holder again. Remove your contact tip and install the back of the gun back on the machine. Be sure to hold the guns as straight as possible when you feed the wire through. All good to go, let's try it out. Same settings, same machine, same wire, same wire tension. Besides that, that was a very big gap and a really poor fit up. The machine didn't miss a beat, it wasn't a liner issue this time. 